All right, campaign. here we go. Uh, Dave Shelby, welcome MW3 to Games Games Com. Com. gameplay reveal. Us, uh, Modern Warfare 3. Let's get First it. First of all, Jeff, it is awesome to be here. Modern Hello, Warfare David. 3 this year is the complete package. We're shipping 16 multiplayer maps, all from the original Modern Warfare 2. These maps have been modernized with new gameplay and features. We also have open world zombies. This is our lar largest zombies. Yeah, so they're talking yeah. a bit about MP and zombies, which is kind of interesting because we're expecting campaign ever, stuff here. First time it's set in the Modern Warfare universe. And of course, this year we are bringing a huge innovation to the Call of Duty campaign. Yes, let's talk a bit about the campaign, Shelby. Uh, okay, uh, this is where I expected it to go. Factor into this, see him over there. Um, tell us a bit about what is the, the storyline? What can we expect from the campaign? Yeah, so for the first time for Call of Duty this year, we're doing a direct sequel. You know, Modern Warfare 2, they asked a lot of interesting questions. Hello, Shelby. Story, and you have to say hello to everyone. So it's in the rules. to work with Infinity Ward on the campaign to answer some of those questions and to bring you... Okay, Modern so it's Warfare still IW's writing. That's, writing. That's solid. Like, IW nails there, the campaigns, yeah. even <laughs> if they don't up, MP. He is our infamous antagonist. He is cold. Makarov. He is calculated, and he is trying to bring the world to the brink of war, but not if... Task Force 141 has anything to say about it. So we are just so excited to get this campaign into the players' hands. All right, well, we are going to see a uh, playthrough of a campaign level. But first, I want to talk about something new you're doing, open combat missions. Okay. What are those? I thought maybe we were so going to get like an MP surprise or something. Epic cinematic stories that Shelby talked about. And this year in Modern Warfare 3, we're introducing a new innovation to the Call of Duty campaign that's going to allow players to interact with that story like never before. We call them open combat missions. So it's kind of just like the play at your own pace. The game the way they want to play. Footage, so actual like gameplay. Me, you, like stealth, you can shoot on the you zip line, self revives. You can equip suppress weapons. There's you armor plates in the campaign again. The enemies ever knowing you were there. Silenced you MTZ, loud, so that's a weapon confirmed. Same scope from MW2. <laughs> the noob tube. That's the Verdansk dam. Hold up, that definitely was the Verdansk dam. Vehicles. You can leverage Where's this? Tactics. Couldn't recognize that. This is the dam, 100%. In campaign. Now, open combat missions are really important to our campaign. Looks like a G36 almost. Seamlessly with those epic cinematic missions that Call of Duty. It's also a mini map in the campaign. Was that an MW? I feel like there wasn't a mini map in the initial campaign. Okay, uh, but maybe I'm remembering wrong. wrong. It's been like a year. Start of the game almost, right? Yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the very first level of Modern Warfare 3. This Ooh. is called Operation 627. All right, check it Which out. I Here believe go, is Price's original right, prisoner number back in Modern Warfare. So here we go. The first campaign mission, sneak preview. What do we got? We saw this in the initial trailer here. This game looks really pretty. Graphically, it's uh, it seems like it's a step up. That water looks insane. The reflections in his eyes? Yo, y'all see that? Actually looks sick. What do they have on their back? Is that like their little propeller thing that makes them all speedy? Yeah, that's what that is. My timeline is just going to be non-stop. Twitter notifications from everyone tweeting the screenshots of this. And then we got the prison, the gulag from Verdansk again, which I think looks a little bit different because like those trees on the right and everything, that's not all straight one-to-one -one from Verdansk. Even like the coastline being right here, there was some space behind the prison back in Verdansk. Modern Warfare 3, pre-order now and gain early access. I have to say it every time. I think I'm also legally required. Operation 627, the Custovian Sea, 13th of October, 2023. So two months now from now. Dude, the ambiance, the vibe, it looks cool.
bracing. Oh, so you can set up your little line launcher, the zip line. I wonder if this will be a feature in anything but campaign. Like, imagine that in zombies. I don't think it'd ever be a thing in, like, multiplayer or Warzone, but imagine that in zombies. And then this was from the initial trailer as well. Who initially, I think a lot of us thought that this was Fara, but it's not. It's just like a random character. What was this gun called? It was like the Drowker or something. D-R-U-K something? I don't know. Looks like it has a suppressor. It's got the one hybrid scope from MW2. I like sort of the blue NVG as opposed to like the standard green. Stealth attack. I like it. It looks pretty. Yeah, this is the same scope. But you can use it in NVG mode. It's not like canted like a lot of the NVG was, I think, in MW2, if I remember correctly. What did he just throw? Is that just a marker? I thought it was a nade. Parachute. That's free SR right there, bro. You got to get them while they're still floating. They can't fight back. Duh. So they said it open world. This seems pretty linear, though. Like, if you're the character, you're not going to be sprinting down this scaffolding into the middle of the prison, right? Like, surely you ha you're going to be having to follow the, the more so stealth mechanics of this. A lot of similarities of MW2, though, which, I mean, visually, I'm not complaining. Like, the story of MW2 is probably the most redeeming part of the game, if we're being honest, right? All clear. Yeah, so this is all Descending stairwell. straight stealth. Descending stairwell. This isn't... I don't think this is one for one, right? I don't recognize any of the voices, unless I'm just stupid, which is also very possible. Nods off. I am a certified dummy. They got a bird up. They've like, uh, they got full setups up in here in the gulag now. On me. I remember running in here trying to avoid people when I didn't get to the chopper first and I was scrambling for a gun off spawn. As rarely as I would land prison, but that was usually the play. A regaining here too. Oh my. All right, so that's all just bait. They set up charges earlier. These guys were not fooled. <laughs> they turned around right into it. This guy's shooting the limbs. You gotta aim for the head, man. Get those multipliers up. I think in MW2 campaign, there was also the options for hit markers if you wanted to see them. If I, again, I could be remembering wrong though. But obviously, they're going all in on the cinematics here, so... That's really all they are going for with that. A little smoke action. He's got to hit the rotation. Is he? How many smokes is this guy carrying? That's obviously campaign only, but... To get the weapon motion blur on, what are you doing, buddy? A little secret gate here. Well, maybe it's secret. Maybe it's not. They found it very quickly. <laughs> they had the blueprints. Now, my two cents, it's a little dark. NVGs could be helpful here. Granted, it's very linear again. So, I mean, you just got to go where the game is directing you pretty much. And then this is the interior. This is the teaser that we got from Unknown Caller before. This is like the exact view, but flipped. These guys are clueless in here. Lights out. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is a cool cinematic. You just see the weapon flash? Yo, that's tight. Honestly, that's a really cool... Like, that I'll last all of four seconds, but... These guys got no idea what's going on. Prisoners are getting taken down. And it's just chaos inside. 
This looks like it's a Scorpion Evo, which I'm all for, a CX-9. The hip fire. So I guess when you're on the zip line, you can only hip fire. Which, I mean, makes sense. That's how it should be. I wonder if that'll be a thing, though, in, like, Warzone. I assume there's going to be zippies all over the buildings. Pretty standard. This is a, this is a long descent. This is a very deep prison. So they want the MVGs off. It's still pretty dark down here. Are you sure? Now he's back to the rifle. My entire timeline is just... MW3. Ah. <laughs> Little hybrid scope. Red dot into the thermal looking thing. Now you're into more like the holding area. Maybe it's like the munitions box area or munitions storage because it's down at the bottom. It goes even deeper. Imagine this is like, this was ever a part of the war zone map. You could go crazy underneath. Oh, and then this was an unknown caller thing too, this door. Time to breach. Back into a cinematic, okay. Because the bar shrunk. Oh, we don't get to see who's behind it. Come on. We don't get to... I mean, we all know who's in there. It's Makarov, but... I mean, it's a cool little breakdown there for sure. I like it. You can stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 3 details and gameplay when Call of Duty Next, the premier showcase... Oh, COD Next! Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer... Call of Duty Mobile and Warzone takes place. We're announcing it tonight on October 5th. And October 5th, Call of Duty next. October 6th. And the multiplayer so beta is on the 6th. Okay, so one day. On and that's the end of it. Pre-order now.